Hey guys. Okay, so um, welcome back to Fertility Charting 101. Um, today we are going to be talking about the Ferning Microscope or um, Ovulation Microscope. Mine is a Fertile Focus um, and as you can see, it's a uh, very small, um, basically about the size of a lipstick container. Um, it actually comes with a lid that matches this, um, so it would just hook on uh, same color. So really, it almost looks like a lipstick case if you are carrying around with you. But I lost mine, my lid. So, um, but I don't carry it around with me anyways. I keep it on my bedside table. So, um, this is a really cool gadget. Uh, this is basically a reusable ovulation predictor kit, uh, but it uses saliva instead of urine. Um, so, it's really handy because you can use it as many times as you want to, and as you know, the urine OPKs can get um, very expensive at times. Um, but, yeah, so, um, basically, as how it works is that as ovulation approaches, um, your saliva will dry in a fern-like pattern, uh, and that's due to an increase in the hormones. Um, the ferning pattern usually starts to um, come about three to five days before ovulation, some women, it's um, shorter. Some women, it's longer. It's just, um, that's just the average. Uh, so, I'm going to demonstrate how you use this. It's really easy. Um, and also, just to show you, this twists. And the twisting is going to be, sorry. Okay, the twisting is going to be um, adjusting the lens. Uh, so when you're taking the lens out, don't twist it because you'll end up twisting it all the way off and messing up your adjustments and it's not a huge deal, but it's just easier if you remember that. So what you do is you would take your lid off, my phantom lid, and um, you pull straight out this is your microscope and this is your lens okay um, so then what you do next is um, in the morning time um, before you eat drink brush your teeth smoke any of that collect um, some of your saliva the best place to do it is from under your tongue. So you take your finger, uh, get some saliva on, and what you're gonna do is, okay, so this is the part that goes into the microscope. This is the part that comes out that you look into. So the part that goes into the microscope, you're going to put your saliva on it and uh, just kind of get it all even and try to avoid bubbles, uh, stuff like that. And uh, you let it dry for five minutes. I'm not gonna let this dry because I'm just, uh, you know, giving an example. Um, but once you have let it dry for five minutes um, or longer, sometimes I will wake up and do it, um, go back to sleep, and then when I wake up, put it in and look. Um, so, you just put it back together, push it right back in, and there's a, when, there's a button at the bottom, and you push that button, and see the green light comes on. So what you're gonna do is, my green light's on, the button's pushed, and I'm going to look all the way in here, and what I'm gonna do is twist, that adjustable
that way uh, that will bring the dried saliva into focus for you. Um, so yeah, it's really easy. Um, and I'm going to show you what um, it should look like. Um, so this first one is just all three of them together. Um, so the non-fertile is going to be like this. See how it's just got um, like little dot patterns and maybe a couple lines. Um, that indicates that you're not fertile. This is the next one. It's called transitional. Uh, as you can see, it's a little getting a little thicker. Um, there's some small ferning. See maybe like right here on the side, a little bit of ferning pattern um, along with the spots and lines. This normally means that ovulation will happen in three to four days. And then the last one is right here. This is your fertile one. And it's, see how it looks like little ferns? It's lines with little lines through it. That's why they call it ferning. Um, and so that's what it will look like when you're more fertile. Um, this is another, just a, a drawing. That was more of a picture, so you might be able to see a little bit better. You can see how the infertile, they've got the spots. Um, the this is what they call transitional. Uh, it's got some, it's starting to get some lines and along with the dots and maybe in a little cross. And this is what you're looking for with the ferning pattern, although it's gonna look a lot more like the first one I showed you, but this is just the way it is. The long line with the little lines through it. And just a few more. Sorry, I'm very visual, like I've said. So anybody else that's visual, I just wanna make sure you get what you need. Uh, these are just close-ups. This is the infertile. You see the just dots and circles, stuff like that. Then you've got your transitional. And as you can see, sorry about that. As you can see, it's got the um, starting to get the lines, a little bit of ferning. And then we have the fertile with all the ferning. So much more. Okay. Um, and it'll also just kind of look like um, frost on a window pane or something like that. Um, and like I said before, make sure you do this without before eating, drinking, smoking, brushing your teeth, all that stuff. Um, and you don't have to do it first thing in the morning. You can do it as many times as you want to. But to get the most accurate results, you want to wait uh, two to three hours after eating or drinking or smoking to actually take um, a sample because uh, all that stuff will throw it off. Um, let's see. And just a few more interesting facts and then we'll be done. Um, oh, and charting. When you chart this, um, I use Fertility Friend and it does have a place for the burning microscope. Um, now, if you're using a printable chart, not all of them have that on there, but you can make, you know, add that. You can make your own placement to the chart, um, you know, just however you want to do it. Um, so, interesting facts is that um, right before your period, if you're, if you're tracking this all throughout your cycle, right before your period, it will actually start to burn again. And that is uh, because you get an estrogen surge right before your, your period. Um, and next interesting fact, I cannot confirm this, but I've read this. And um, it's just kind of cool if it is true. But um, basically, if you get your ferning, you know you've ovulated. Um, and about five days later, five, six, seven days later, you start to get ferning again, but it's still too, it's really early for your period, but you're ferning, that is actually an indication that you're pregnant, so that is a good thing. Um, so, yeah, let me know if um, you've ever used the ferning microscope and if that worked for you, um, if you could tell you're pregnant um, just based on the ferning microscope. I'm very interested to know that. Um, if you have any other tips, please leave it in the comments below for um, other users to see. And um, 
hit the like button and like I said, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.